What's up? This is Raven Vapes 5v510. Back again. I'm vaping so hard tonight. I mean, I am just. It has been relentless. I had to put the uh, harness on, and you know what that means. I mean, I'm to I'm loaded. I am. Re I am. It has just been relentless. So I figured, you know, while I'm uh, in the zone, I should just get this review out of the way. And the review is uh, of from Vapor Station. I will not hold it up to the camera so it goes out of focus for 10 minutes. Uh, it's Tampa from Vapor Station. Vapor Station is my favorite place, and uh, it's well known that they have the best RY4. Their Phoenix is great. All right, before I start, I wanted to uh, comment on something uh, from my last review. I At the beginning of my review, I mentioned something. Maybe I shouldn't have said it. Uh, I said a person's name. I was a gentleman and beeped it out. I'm still right. I wouldn't. I mean, we wouldn't have broken into that place. I wouldn't broke into that place with. We had reasons to do it, and we were right. So, apparently, because people can vape, they are professional lip readers. And yes, I said Grim Green. Yes, I was talking about Nick. Grim Green. I'm I know Grim and we've known we kind of go way back and um, uh, it goes like this. We I legally am not allowed to say what happened, but I can tell you that we both lived in Nevada and uh, this is about eight years ago. Uh, we both uh, were vaping, and this is back at a time when you couldn't go on alt smoke and buy low resistant atomizers or, you know, ceramic lined cardamizers and uh, drip tips. There, you couldn't, there was nothing. There were no websites. There, there, it was crazy. It was very hard to be a vapor, and there were very few of us. And uh, we met, and uh, we started, uh, you know, doing builds because back then you had to hand make every single thing, and there was no um, right or wrong way to it. You just, uh, you know, you were on a hunt for the vapor, and you did what you had to do. So we kind of um, formed this vaping club. It started out as a vaping club. It ended up kind of gang-ish and I was asked to leave Nevada a year and a half later. I'm not going into details but I had some very uh, rad stealth vapes at, uh, in the back of cop cars. We built four rigs before I was asked to leave Nevada and um, I still have the second one we made which is called the Tat One and uh, all right I'll do it I'll uh, I'll show it to you guys hold up I got I'm gonna have to cut I'm gonna go get it and um, I'll let you see a little vaping history hold on all right so uh, this is uh, a little bit complicated and uh, this is not your, you know, your new devices. Uh, this is a 110 uh, volt device. Uh, and it plugs in, and I'm just gonna go down here and plug it in to this strip down here. And, uh, okay. Uh, I have not used this in uh, many years. I have no clue as to what's going to happen. But, let's see. Okay, so this is the, uh, this is the TAT-1. 
or the uh, also known as the take a two one. And uh, this is uh, this is old school. This is uh, this is what you do when you have a lot of passion for the vapor and. Uh, it's uh, this, you know, there weren't Addies back then. We called them boilers. This is the boiler. Uh, it Inside is a coil of barbed wire. Uh, we found this gets very hot and uh, you can also get shocked and that's why we always did uh, a grate, on a plastic grate um, on the top. Um, this uh, this was made for direct dripping, and I happen to have the very last remnants of uh, our first juice, which is called Give Me Shelter. And uh, it is uh, a 90 milligram bacon menthol. So we just put some drips right on there. Uh, it holds a lot, and uh, you know you can't flood it. Uh, we're talking. This is very, very dangerous. And uh, all right, that should be good. And uh, let's uh, take a toot. <laughs> It's still hidden. It's still hidden after all this time. Okay, I'm going to take this thing off before it kills me. Hold on. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that little uh, vape down memory lane. I, it, Graham, if you are watching this, I'm sorry if I, that I lied to you and said I sold it, and I'm sorry if that embarrassed you. But you know what? It's an important part of vape history, and people should see how far we've come. Um, I wish I still had the first mod that we made, but I had to trade that car in uh, to get the car I have now. The third one we made, uh, I lost at AdultCon. And I've lost three mods at AdultCon. Last year, I, lo I lost my wet box at AdultCon. And um, good luck finding a wet box at AdultCon. So I guess I should get on to the review. Um, Tampa Vapor Station. That is good. That is seriously good. I, uh, I've got vaping to do. I can't, I don't think I can uh, talk anymore. I, uh, I'm going gooseneck into the SB, silver bullet. I'm going 510 Cardo with a gunmetal drip tip, and I'm out of here. Vape 5e510. Vape hard.